Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I'm your health educator, Tanisha Lawrence, and this is your Monday Meds. Yes, your Monday Meds. Thank you so much for all your likes, all your thumbs up. It does support our channel, it does support our ministry. And for all your shares, all your comments, thank you so much. And as we talk about our shares and your shares and your likes and your comments, let's keep watching as we will. We will share, I will share, I will share with you three lessons that I would share with my younger self. So, what three lessons would I share with my younger self? Hmm. I had to give it some thought because as I get older and I reflect on my life, as I reflect on um, my experiences, as I reflect on the past year, you know, I thought about it. What can I share with my younger self? So, yes, my sister, it's your birthday today and we're 10 years apart. And um, happy birthday to my sister. Happy birthday to you, Keisha. Yes, I love you and I pray God's blessings for you. And this video is in part for you. Um, so what would I share with my younger self? And yes, this video is for my nieces, my nephews, my friends who are younger. What would I share with you? What would I have shared with myself if I could go 10, 20 years or even 30 years back? <laughs> Quite interesting. So number one, the first thing I would share with myself, my younger self, is that not everyone that smiles with you is your friend. Yeah, that's a tough one. And maybe that should have been the last one I share. But I think you share the worst one first, right? Yeah, you really should. So you get to the good stuff. So why would I say that to my younger self? The thing about it is that as you grow, well, from teenage years, or even the Bible talks about it, that when you are young, when you are a child, you seek, you learn trust at your mother's breast. And so you learn trust. You should learn trust from your mother and you should learn trust from your family. And so as you get older, you should learn how to trust people. You should learn how to care for people. You should learn how to love people. And the reality is that not everyone that smiles with you, not everyone that calls you not everyone who talks with you is your friend not everyone that is in your family can be trusted not everyone that is your friend can be trusted and so that is a hard lesson for me to even teach my younger self <laughs> it's a hard lesson to accept as an adult and um, but it's one that if you learn it early enough you will make a lot more wiser decisions. And so number one, not everyone that smile with you is your friend. Not everyone that calls you or message you or, you know, give you something or give you a gift or whatever. Not everyone that is in so-called your corner is your friend. And you have to ask God for wisdom to show you, show you who you can trust or who is worthy of your trust. So not everyone who smiles with you is your friend. Number two, number two lesson. The second lesson that I would want to share with my younger self Hmm. The second lesson is that you have to, you have to invest in building. You have to invest in real estate, invest in land, invest in property. 
Yes, instead of putting your money in the bank, instead of working so hard and putting your money in the bank, and then the bank may close or shut down with your money or they will they may have a foreclosure or something there may be a recession or something and they hold your money at ransom or whatever they may want to do with your money instead of them um, you giving them your money to invest in stocks that may lose its value because the, the um, inflation has messed it up or whatever whatever the the financial um, dismay that they may tell you instead of keeping your money in the bank and watch them give you interest after they've gotten the lump sum from your in the investment of your money invest in property yes that's number two I would say to my younger self invest in property and I would more so go further to say invest in the ground so yes put seeds in the ground yep 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 invest in seeds invest in the ground and try to be as you invest try to be as self-sufficient as you can from the government and thirdly third and well there are so much more but these are my top three number one what's number one <laughs> yeah I'm getting old I'm getting older <laughs> so number one what's number one not everyone that smiles with you is your friend number one number two invest in property invest in the ground invest in seeds put them in the ground and the third the third one that I'll share third lesson is that you should always 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 put God first and yes that should be number one but we'll do number three we'll say that's number three as we said we gave the worst we put the worst one first yeah worst first in this case so the good stuff the good stuff always put God first number one put God first always God must be number one in your life no matter what you face in life remember that you should put God first talk with him each and every moment of the day it doesn't mean that you're going to be on your knees all day because that is not realistic but you must take time to spend time alone with God put him first in the morning in the afternoon noontime and in the evening make sure you have time for prayer time to talk with God first and foremost yes that's my third lesson and that's number one that's the biggest lesson of all because when you put God first he will tell you who you can trust and God will direct you to the property that or properties you should invest in and God will show you the seeds that you should plant and invest in the ground and so when you put God first in all that you do and you know how to talk with him in prayer you know how to talk with him when you know how to really pray how to really intercede on your behalf great things do happen and so those are my three lessons for my younger self number one not everyone that smile with you is your friend number two invest in property invest in the ground invest in seeds so you can be self-sufficient and number three put God first put God first in all that you do thanks for watching be sure to like share comment subscribe be sure to click the notification bell to get updates on all our new videos 
watching.